Hello, and welcome to the reactor. All right, uh, let's get to the next uh, tune of Still Life, which is um, the Benighted. Um, so as we left off, uh, the main character of this of this story has come back, come back to home after being uh, off on a journey to try to find himself and so forth, and has come back home because well things didn't quite well you didn't find yourself, <laughs> so you come back home thinking it's just got to be here. It's not anywhere else out there. It's got to be here, and. Uh, so you meet up with one old friend that's still in town. What is this? And uh, so it's, as, as, you know, maybe some old friends and some um, past girlfriends and so forth, there's a bit of tension and a bit of jealous tension. And um, maybe things didn't, uh, you know, work out so well. But, but you, you know... At least you had a discussion about your past and your, your childhood and so forth. So, you know, things are at least somewhat um, intact. And, and then, you know, to go back outside and then there's just this town that you recognize and remember, but it's different. So that leaves a little bit of tension, too. And uh, But he's off to find, to find the woman he left behind. All right. And um, don't forget these guys, you know. You know the thing. Click the buttons and the links and go for it. All right. Be knighted.
All right, before we get into the uh, the nice transition to some uh, awesome tunes, um, beautiful, beautiful acoustic piece, and his voice is just so, oh, man, it just hits the heart, you know, and it feels like, uh, feels like that um, the main character has gone to the place where he remembers where um he last saw his uh his past woman his his girlfriend his uh, whatever you call it or his maybe maybe not girlfriend but maybe wanted to be girlfriend at the time before he left and uh maybe left without saying goodbye but he's gone to the place where um he's seen her last and it's just it really hits really hits a it's a it's a nerve you know if you've ever had a loved lost one and you've gone to the place where you last saw them boy that brings back some some serious memories maybe good maybe bad but still it's it's heart wrenching, you know, just to remember what it was like in the same spot, in the same place, in the same, you know, you kind of go back in time and you remember what it was like. And so it's time to remember uh, where am I? Okay, let's try this. That was a masterpiece of beauty. Uh, wow, that really um, and and I'm, and I'm um, comparing this to previous songs that I've um, you know kind of gathered through through in the past. Uh, this one doesn't have a lot of that um, uh, minor notes that they play to kind of give that that unease that that tension that uh mm, that spookiness to it this one has a lot of really nice positive tones and it just makes you feel like there's there's hope and there's um you know uh, i think this this main character now is is feeling um hopeful that uh that uh, something um that he, he came back for a reason um and maybe that reason is 
the one he left behind is now hopefully still willing, still here, still, you know, uh, maybe they also were searching and maybe their searches will come together. It really depends on the next tune. <laughs> and, you know, with Opeth, um, things can change like that and uh on a note on a on a rhythm on a on a chorus uh, on anything they, they have the ability to just really change a uh um and uh, uh, what you think is going to happen and then just bam turns around in a different direction and that's why that's what i love most about these guys is that not only are they just musical geniuses and even this far back the engineering in this is damn good um, compared to, you know, a lot of other music out there. This is still very well engineered and still just beautifully written and composed and just fantastic. Um, but we'll see. We'll see where the next uh, tune takes us. Alrighty. I guess that's it. Until the next time. Cheerio.